Professor Prototype here, introducing D-Lab's simple machine control module, Versa. So here's Versa. And what is Versa? It is a simple logic controller that can be added to any machine that is in need of a brain. This is the prototype module. You can see it fits right in the palm of my hand. A simple user interface. You have your on button and off button. You can see they're just spring loaded because this thing works on a latching relay type of interface. Okay. Here are your status lights. So you can see you have a test light, standby fault, and engage. I'll go into what those do when we hook it up to our little item under test. Here's the rear of the unit. This is the interface for the Molex connector. You can see this little fault level adjustment. There's a pot in there. And then the pins are identified for their function. This unit was developed to work on 12 volts, but I can build these to work on 24 volts, 120 AC, or 220. All right, demonstration time of the Versa unit. I've plugged in the rear Molex connector. So we have 12 volts coming in. We have the output going to our load. There is a switched power input to enable the device and my fault input. All right? So we'll flip her around. And you can see at this point, the verse module is in standby mode. All right? So let's go over the rest of the setup. This is my main power input, Okay, just a DC power supply. Have another power supply here, and we're going to let that simulate a fault level. So in this case, I'm on the 0 to 10 volt scale, right? You can see I got about, uh, you know, two and a half volts, two and a half, three volts. So let's pretend that this is a zero to five volt sensor, okay? So that'd be some feedback for the Versa module. And here I have a load, in this case, just a light bulb to show you how the module controls that load. So here we go. As I stated earlier, Versa is a simple logic controller. Its purpose in life is to add some functionality to a machine that doesn't have any functionality except for possibly just on off okay there's several machines out there that run a process and if something goes wrong and they can't trip a fault you have a disaster waiting for you well versa can provide you some simple on off switching and fault level protection all right so first off let's pretend that this light bulb is a contactor on your machine that's running a process so the first thing that Versa does for you, if you hit the off button, it goes into test mode. And it's looking out there to see if it sees the load. So I've put a switch here. If I open up the line now, going to the contactor, and I hit Versa, you'll see you have a fault indication. Those two lights say, hey, something is wrong Oh, okay? So let's turn it back on. And now the fault's cleared and I can turn on and off the device, right? Now, if the load opens, obviously you have a fault and I can't turn it on and off, okay? So you have an indication that something is wrong, okay? All right, the next thing I'm gonna show you would be your fault input and how Versa handles that. All right, so one thing I didn't cover that I need to show you is this blue wire. This is actually my enable input to the Versa module. Okay, so if you had say a switch or an output from a PLC telling Versa it's okay to run that machine, it's looking for this line to go high. So right now you can't turn on the Versa module. You can still look out and test to make sure the coil's there, but this thing is not going to engage until it sees this blue wire go high. And now we go back to the standby mode you can turn on and off your device and for some reason if you lost that enable she shuts off okay so you could actually tie the blue line into let's say an e-stop circuit okay so now we got Versa running your machines doing its thing everything's cool and now up here we have a variable fault input so let's imagine that we have a pressure transducer that puts out 0 to 5 volts say that's 0 to 5,000 psi all right so right now we're a little over two volts, so a little over 2,000 PSI. Everything's cool, your process is running. Then it starts increasing. Your pressure is going out of control, right? And at this point, 
I went over three and a half volts, which I can adjust with a level adjust on the back of the Versa to any level I want, but it tripped off Versa. All right, now the operator comes up and says, oh look, I've got a fault light on Versa, but I want to turn the machine on. Well, I can't because I have not cleared the fault. So you fix it, your pressure goes back down, you're able to turn your machine back on. Now this is only a high level trip. Versa does not have a low level. So as you start your machine, you're at say zero PSI and it works its way up to the 2500, everything's cool. If it goes higher than what you want it to be, it shuts the machine off. So you may be saying, well, you know, professor, that's great that Versa can turn that light bulb on and off. Except it can do a lot more than what you think. Let me show you the inner workings. Well, let's take a look at the insides of the Versa module. As I stated earlier, this is a prototype. Okay, so it is the only one in existence. There's the D-Lab handmade circuit board. All right, it's all analog circuitry. Okay, there's no processor. You can't hook it to USB, and you sure can't control it with your phone. All right, there's my little nifty push button switches, and the heart of it is MagnaCraft gigantic relay that can handle up to 30 amps of current. Okay. This Versa module was built in this custom little aluminum cabinet, which is really nice for the application, but the board could be mounted on a DIN rail mount and snapped into your control console for your machine. Also, that big relay in there in this application is simply switching 12 volts, but those contacts can be used to switch, say, 24 volt DC, 120, and up to 230 volts AC for your application. There it is, from Professor Prototype to you, the Versa module, a very simple analog controller that can be added to almost any machine and give you that level of control and fault detection that you currently don't have. And the best thing is, it doesn't need a phone app, it doesn't need software. It's simple, analog, reliable control from D-Lab Electronics.